TexNet is an array of seismometers across Texas that helps us better locate, identify earthquakes, but also measure the levels of ground shaking from these events. Earthquakes are caused when rocks move next to one another. You know, that's that motion, and that's called a fault. Texas has a lot of faults throughout the state, but they haven't been seismically active until recently. Since 2008, there has been a rapid increase in seismicity rates across the central United States. Between 1980 and about 2010, there were one to two earthquakes per year in the entire state, relatively small earthquakes. Between 2010 and 2015, that rate of seismicity changed from one to two per year to up to 15 earthquakes per year. And that's what's really interesting to see how things are changing over time. We've had natural earthquake activity in Texas throughout its history. So as earthquakes started to happen to our good neighbor to the north in Oklahoma, Texas had some of its own. Irving, Texas, Azle, Texas, uh, Venus. And this is in the Dallas-Fort Worth area the greater area, which gets people's attention. Reported on those earthquakes in Texas, felt in and around Dallas. Well, tonight, word of yet another one. Now, 11 earthquakes in just the last 24 hours. And of course, the new concern over what's causing this. Another earthquake has rattled North Texas. This one happened just this morning before 10 near Reno, which is in the Tarrant Parker County lines. Everybody wants uh, to know what is going on and what has changed and what can be done about it. That is uh, something that we should monitor in order to see uh, how this accelerates or decelerates with time. Myra Crownover, a state representative, along with the Railroad Commission, said it's time to understand what is going on seismically. And they came to the Bureau. Thus came TexNet. TexNet is going to install at least 22 new permanent stations, roughly evenly spaced across Texas, what we call the TexNet seismic backbone. And then we said we need 36 portable seismometers, an array that we can move around. For each of these sensors, the data stream in real time here back to the Bureau of Economic Geology. That will give us the ability to understand where the seismicity is, is occurring. Having better earthquake locations could give us an understanding of which fault or which part of a fault of a rapture zone is activated. We are developing fundamental understandings of the processes that cause earthquakes and how they impact people, their infrastructure, their businesses. We have some seismic equipment that sits at the front of the property and we've just supplemented that with the, the new equipment that's going to be part of the, the bigger TexNet. There are a lot of questions that people have that at the moment we've no way of answering. It's easy to just say, you know, it's the fracking, it's the injecting, it's, it's, you know, it's this and that without any real proof. Oil and gas has been an important part of Texas history for a very long time, a century. Texas has also had earthquakes going back to the 1920s, at least, in oil fields. Because we're doing something here and it happens that an earthquake happens nearby at the same time, doesn't mean that caused that necessarily. It could have. If human activity is causing that, we need to figure out how to stop that. One reason why earthquakes are a concern to us here in the state of Texas is because of the potential impact of those events on the people and infrastructure. We were contacted by uh, University of Texas and, and uh, they requested that we help them find uh, a location for the monitor. What we continued to hear from the citizens was who's doing something about it. Those people were concerned because they thought the next one was going to be a big one. We have to make sure that we have a good understanding of the risk that the earthquakes uh, could um, provide to the public here. I don't want larger earthquakes to occur in an area as densely populated and as poorly prepared for earthquake shaking as the Dallas-Fort Worth area. This is tough science. It takes smart people from multiple disciplines working together to do this. We've got geologists who understand faulting 
petroleum engineers who understand how oil and gas activities influence those faults. We work with our colleagues at SMU who have been studying seismicity for many decades now, and at Texas A&M. So it's an integrated approach to answer this question. The state and universities, industry and landowners are all working together to address the science of this issue. And this is exactly how it will get solved. This program benefits everybody to be able to learn what the problem is, get some scientific data to base decisions on, and then move forward. We don't have any politics in this. We have our interest in the science. And this can serve as an example uh, for other states as they address these types of really complicated problems and at the national scale. Texas will be prepared in case of uh, an earthquake event. Texas, in many ways, the Bureau helps us lead the nation, which helps us in many ways lead the world. It all comes together right here.